Welcome sa course natin kung saan magsasolve naman ulit tayo. So, sequence dun sa topic natin na sequence, progression, sample problem, part 2. So, first question, find the 16th term of the geometric progression, 2, 6, at 18. So, hanapin natin yung 16th term, so A sub 16. So, yung N is equal to 16. So, yung given... So, A sub 1 is equal to 2, A sub 2 is equal to 6, A sub 3 is equal to 18. So, therefore, a common ratio, so 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3, 18 divided by 6 is equal then sa 3. So, common ratio R is equal to 3. A formula natin, so A sub N is equal to A sub 1, R raised to N minus 1. So, substitute natin yung given, so A sub 16 is equal to 2 times 3 uh, times 6, R. Uh, raised to 16 minus 1. So, lagyan natin. So, 2 times 3 raised to 16 minus 1. So, 28,697,814 yung 16 terms sa geometric progression natin. So, next, find the sum of the first 8 terms of the geometric progression. 7, 28, 1, 12. So, S of 8 or yung sum of the first 8 terms. So, n is equal to 8. So, yung given, a sub 1 is equal to 7. a sub 2 is 28. a sub 3 is equal to 112. So, 28 divided by 7, 4. And then, yung 112 divided by 28, so 4 then. So, therefore, common ratio r is equal to 4. So, yung formula natin, uh, para dun sa sum ng geometric progression. So, s sub n, so finite lang to, no? Dahil hanggang 8 term lang naman yung hinahanap. So, partial sum. So, S sub n is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R is to n all over 1 minus R. So, substitute natin. So, 7. So, 1 minus 4 is to 8 over 1 minus 4. So, therefore, yung sum of the first 8 terms is equal to 152,915. The first term of a geometric progression is 375 and the fourth term is 192. So find the common ratio. So given a1, 375, a sub 4 is equal to 192. So common ratio R. So formula nat pwede natin gamitin. So a sub n is equal to a sub 1 R raised to n minus 1. So a sub 4 na nasa given. So, equal sa A sub 1, R raised to 4 minus 1. So, substitute natin, 192. So, cube root ng 192 uh, all over 375. So, therefore, yung common ratio is 0.8. Next question. The first term of a progression is negative 8 and the 12th term is 1 over 256 find the seventh term. So given first term is equal to negative 8, twelfth term 1 over 256. So seventh term A sub 7. So equation na pwede natin gamitin, A sub n is equal to A sub 1, R raised to n minus 1. So therefore, so A sub 7 which is equal to negative 8, R raised to 7 minus 1, at yung A 12. So A sub 1, uh, R raised to 12 minus 1 or 1 over 256 which is equal to negative 8 R raised to 11. Wala pa tayong common ratio kaya kakumpitin muna natin dito. So therefore, so 11th root ng 1 over 256 times negative 8. So common ratio R is equal to negative 0.5. So, pwede natin i-plug in dun sa isang equation, yung A sub 7, para makuha na natin yung 7 term. So, negative 8 times negative 0.5 raised to 7 minus 1. So, A sub 7 or 7 term is equal to negative 0 0.125. Next question. The first term of a geometric progression is 256 and the last term is 6,561. If the sum of all terms is 19,171, find the number of terms. 
So yung given natin, so first term, 256. Last term, so, or A sub N, 6,561. Sum of all terms is 19,171. So hanapin natin number of terms, N. So formula ang pwedeng gamitin. So A sub N is equal to A sub 1 R raised to N minus 1. At saka yung isa pa, yung sum of all terms, or sum of terms, hanggang N, or yung geometric series. So A sub 1, 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r. So, subject natin dun sa first equation, yung given, so 6,561, equals sa 256 r raised to n minus 1. So, yung wala tayo dyan, yung r, pati yung n. So, dun sa isa pa. So, 19,171, which is equal to 256, uh, times 1 minus r raised to n over 1 minus r. So, simplify natin or magawin natin linear lang. No? Paghiwalay natin yung r is to n pati yung r minus 1. So, 6561 which is equal to 256 r is to n minus 1. So, ang magiging a term natin dun sa right side, 256 r is to n times r is to negative 1. So, therefore, r is to n. So, kukunin natin yung relationship ng r is to n para substitute natin dun sa isang equation yung Uh, sa geometric series. So, substitute natin. So, 19,171, 256 times 1, minus 6561, r over 256. So, yung r raised to n, na-compute natin kanina. Or, and then over, 1 minus r. So, simplify pa natin. So, multiply natin both sides. So, 1 minus r, so yung right side, 19,171 minus 19,171r. Tapos yung numerator, so 256 minus 6561R dahil yung 1 minus 6561R over 256, simplify natin, magiging 256 over 256, makakansal yung constant dun sa labas ng parenthesis. So matitira na lang yung nasa loob ng parenthesis which is 256 minus 6561R. So... I-arrange lang natin para magkakasama yung may variable tsaka yung constants. So, 19,171R minus 6561R equals sa 19,171 minus 256. So, therefore, yung common ratio R is equal to so 19,171 minus 256 over 19,171 minus uh, 6561, so 1.5, yung common ratio R. And then, uh, substitute natin yung 1.5 dun sa first equation, yung 6561 is equal to 256, so multiplies 1.5 raised to n minus 1. So divide natin both sides sa 256, so 6561 over 256 equals sa 1.5 raised to n minus 1. So, para makuha natin yung n, kunin natin yung logarithm both sides, natural logarithm. So, ln or natural logarithm ng 6561 over 256. Tapos yung property natin dun sa natural logarithm, yung exponent, magiging coefficient. So, n minus 1. And then, ln ng 1.5. So, divide natin both sides sa natural logarithm ng 1.5 and then plus 1 para n na lang yung matitira. So, pinagpalit na rin natin ng side. So, n is equal to ln ng 6561 over 256 over natural logarithm ng 1.5 plus 1. So, gain natin. So, natural logarithm ng 6561 over 256 over natural logarithm ng 1.5 and then plus 1. So, therefore, number of terms is 9. Next naman, find the geometric mean of 18 and 1,458. Yung geometric mean naman, ganito naman yung equation natin. So, n truth siya ng uh, product ng lahat ng terms. So, dito dahil dalawa lang yung term natin. So, yung first term is 18, last term or yung second term is 1,458. So, therefore, square root ng 18 times 1458. So, therefore... So, square root ng 18 times 14.58. So, geometric mean ay 162. 
Uh, the sum of three numbers in arithmetic progression is 45. If the first number is decreased by 4, the second number decreased by 3, and the third increased by 14, the new numbers will be in geometric progression. Find the fifth term of the geometric progression. So, I translate natin to into equations. So, in first, the sum of three numbers, so 45, so A1, A2, and A3. So, arithmetic progression, kaya... Yung second term, so A2 minus A1 is equal to yung third term minus yung second. So A sub 3 minus A sub 2. Tapos, if the first number is decreased by 4, so A1 minus 4, the second number decreased by 3, so A2 minus 3, the third increased by 14, the new numbers will be in geometric progression. Kaya ganito yung equation natin. Yung common ratio equal dun sa second term, so geometric progression, which is A2 minus 3. Then yung first term sa geometric progression, A1 minus 4. Then yung third term, so A3 plus 14 divided by A sub 2 minus 3. Or yung second term, minus 3. So hanapin natin yung fifth term ng geometric progression. So pwede natin gawin. Uh, pag adinalit natin, both, uh, uh, subtract natin no, yung first saka yung uh, second equation, tapos arrange natin yung second, ang magiging sagot natin, so 3a sub 2 is equal to 45, so therefore, second term nung arithmetic progression is equal to 15. And then substitute natin, kunin natin relationship, so a sub 3 is equal to 30 minus a sub 1. Tapos substitute natin yung 30 minus a sub 1 dun sa a sub 3 sa third equation, dun sa uh, equation natin para equate yung mga common ratio. Tapos yung 15, substitute na natin. So 15 minus 3 over A1 minus 4. And then 30 minus A sub 1 plus 14 over 15 minus 3. So simplify natin. Multiply both sides ng 12. Tapos uh, multiply both sides ng A sub 1 minus 4. Kaya maging sagot natin. So 12 squared. So 15 minus 3. So 12 squared equal sa Simplify natin yung numerator sa so 44. So, yung 30 plus 14 minus a sub 1. Na simulitiply natin na uh, a sub 1 minus 4. Therefore, 144 equals a 44 a sub 1 minus a sub 1 squared minus 176 plus 4 a sub 1. So, therefore, uh, range lang natin. So, a sub 1 squared minus 48 a sub 1 plus 320. So, gamit tayo ng quadratic formula. So, negative b, positive negative square root na b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So, yung a is equal to 1. Yung coefficient, yung coefficient naman natin na sa b is equal to negative 48. Tapos, yung c is 320. So, store lang natin. So, 1 sa a, negative 48 sa b, tapos yung 320 sa c. Tapos, so negative b. So, positive uh, square root ng b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So, 40 yung isa. Tapos, yung isa pa. So, negative naman. So, 8. So, x equal to 8. Tapos, yung isa x equal to 40. Kapag yung x natin or yung first term ng arithmetic progression is 8, Second term is 15. Yung third term ng arithmetic progression, so galing dun sa equation natin na 30 minus a sub 1. So 30 minus 8. So in third term sa arithmetic progression, 22. At yung common difference, 7. Kapag naman, yung a sub 1 natin, yung isang solution na 40. a sub 2 is equal to 15. So a sub 3 is equal to 30 minus a sub 1, which is 40. So, a sub 3 is equal to negative 10. b is equal to negative 25. Common difference d is 20, negative 25. So, therefore, uh, kapag naman yung a sub 1 is equal to 8, a sub 2 is equal to 15, a sub 3 is equal to 22, yung terms natin sa geometric progression, yung a sub 1 minus 4, a sub 2 minus 3, a sub 3 plus 14, so, ito, no? So, 8 minus 4, so 4. 15 minus 3, 12. Tapos, 22 plus 14, so 36. Hanapin natin yung fifth term ng geometric progression. 
So, common ratio, 12 divided by 4, so 3. 36 divided by 12, so 3 then. So, equation. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. So, a sub 5 is equal to 4 times 3 raised to 5 minus 1. So, 4 times 3 raised to 5 minus 1. So, 324 yung fifth term ng geometric progression kapag a sub 1 is equal to 8. Doon sa isang solution, a sub 1 is equal to 40. So, a sub 1 minus 4 is equal to 36. So, 40 minus 4 and then 15 minus 3 is 12. And then negative 10 plus 14 is 4. Hanapin natin yung fifth term. So, yung common ratio naman nito, 12 divided by 36, so 1 third. 4 divided by 12 is 1 third. So, a sub n is equal to a sub 1 r raised to n minus 1. So, therefore, substitute natin 36. 1 over 3 raised to 5 minus 1. So, ito yung kanina. So, 324. Tapos, 36. 1 over 3 raised to 5 minus 1. So, 4 over 9. So, natin.